subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Muswobi. Good morning, uh, good morning everyone. We are here for the burial of Jumoke Oileke, a 25-year-old lady who was killed on the 3rd of July when the Yoruba Nation rally took place at Ojota. So the cops just arrived. Um, the family of the cop uh, of the late Jumakere Eleke are here with the body. You can see the ambulance just coming in. Behind is the behind this car, the other car coming at the back is um, where members of the, of the family are in. In case you do not remember, late Jumo Kerry Leke was a sales girl at one of the shops. There at Ojota on the 3rd of July, she was killed. She was killed on the 3rd of July. At Ojota, uh, while the Yoruba Nation rally was ongoing, uh, you recall that the Nigerian police came out uh, with a statement not too long after the incident happened and said that uh, the late Jumake was not killed by any police officer but by a sharp object and her body was just found somewhere around. However, um, medical reports proved otherwise. Lady Jumoke was said to have been killed by bullet piercings. Of course, you also remember uh, that the Lagos State government approved for a corona inquest to, to take place, and that is ongoing. The magistrate court, Agege, is where that has been happening and it is still ongoing i remember that the last time the last time we were caught uh, the magistrate said the lawyer of the family asked uh, for the body of the lady to be released and the magistrate said uh, so the opposing lawyer to ensure that, that as the lawyer of the police now, to ensure that um, the do the needful quick, and after that ensure the body returns to the family because the of course the burial uh, was meant to have happened long time ago, and the lawyer of the family. I made the case for that to happen. So now we are here at the burial ceremony of the young lady. Uh, of course, this means that the police must have been done with the police must have been done with whatever 
assessment they were doing uh, the medical officials must have been done as well and now um the body of the young lady can can rest rest in peace If you're just joining us, we are giving you live updates from the burial ceremony of uh, the late Jumoke Oileke. The burial ceremony will be commencing in no time. The ambulance is uh, going to the ground that has been dug for the corpse to be dropped in and the family, the family members of the late Jumoke Oileke are also coming in a vehicle behind me and um, everything will soon be done. Remember that the late Jumoke Iloke was killed on the 3rd of July. Uh, she was a sales girl selling at an ice cream shop. Selling at an ice cream shop at Ojota. Of course, the burial is taking place at the Hathorn Cemetery uh, here at Unilag Road, Yaba, Lagos. So in this bag lies um Oileke Jumoke, 25 years of age she was before she 
lost her life to a bullet that pierced through her body entering into vital parts of her body and killing her immediately she was killed at Ojota on the 3rd of July on the day the Yoruba Nation rally was taking place remember that the Yoruba Nation rally held uh, despite the controversy surrounding one of their leaders chief Sunday Adeyemo popularly known as Sunday Go uh, the rally took place uh, it didn't start early on the day but it took place it began and um, the police were around they were on ground alongside other security officials there was a lot of shooting of tear gas on that day and there was a lot of running around uh, on that particular day, yours truly was equally running around on that particular day trying to escape from the chaos that began after the police started shooting tear gas and at some point it was believed that bullets were shot into the air as well in the middle of the chaos was this unfortunate incident Of course, from that day, uh, immediately the next day, we gave you an exclusive interview with the mother of Ajumoke uh, Oyeleke, where she spoke to us about her late daughter and what happened on the day. According to her, she was coming from, from work that day in public transport when she was hearing people discuss about how somebody had been killed at the rally. She didn't even know that it was going to eat her clothes home. Uh, neither did she know that he had anything to do with anybody she knew. She was just listening as people were discussing in the tricycle she was in. It was after a while that she got calls, numerous calls, she said, from people telling her that her daughter had died. At the corona inquest uh, a few weeks ago, we yesterday was also there when um, the late Jumoke's boss, the owner of the shop, was also uh, giving a testimony. According to her, she was in a church uh, the Deeper Life Bible Church, Bagada, uh, where she was busy doing a couple of things when her phone rang and they called to give her the news that her sales girl had been killed in front of her shop. She was confused, she was wondering what must have happened and she went with a member of her church and um, she went there to see what was happening. And as uh, she went there, and she was in tears, she was crying uncontrollably, and she gave a report about how senior police officers came, and um, herself and her dad didn't want a body to be taken away, but uh, they pleaded that if the body was not taken away, uh, more chaos could have happened, uh, it could have led to anger on the streets, uh, it could have led to more trouble and possibly more people dying. And she said they allowed the police official, the senior police official, and they uh, take away the cops. But uh, as at that time, uh, they had not seen cops. Of course, like I said earlier, uh, the lawyer of the family 
made a case for the family asking that the corpse be released to the family for immediate care. And the magistrate promised that he was going to ensure uh, that once medical officials were done with the necessary things they were doing, uh, they were going to release the corpse to the family to be buried. And here we are. 20th of August 2021. The uncle of the late Jumoke is equally here as well. He has been involved in this case from the very, very beginning. And here we are at the end. Here lies Jumoke we daily. She was 25 years of age when she left planet Earth to the other realm, to the other world. Like I said earlier, there's a corona inquest. There's an ongoing corona inquest. Um, By the Lagos State Government, uh, which is meant to determine what happened and what led to the death of Chumoke Ueleke. Down the road, down the road. So you don't down the road. What you cover? What you cover? Go. I cover. 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 I cover.
Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV, Moswobi.